Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to have a look at Gigabyte's UD9 or Ultra Durable 9 motherboard. And here it is. This is the Gigabyte X58 UD9 or Ultra Durable 9 motherboard specifically designed for 4-way SLI or 4-way Crossfire X and for overclocking potential. So let's have a look at this monstrous motherboard. We're going to take this out of the box, check out the motherboard and see exactly what accessories come with this new killer board from Gigabyte. And here is the Gigabyte UD9 motherboard. We're going to take this out of the box, have a look at this motherboard as well as what accessories come with this killer motherboard. Here are the accessories that come with the Gigabyte UD9 motherboard. You will receive an extreme hybrid silent pipe cooling solution, a 4-way SLI bridge, 3-way SLI bridge as well as a regular SLI bridge and two Crossfire X bridges. You will also receive these three plastic standoffs. These are critical to the installation of this motherboard. The motherboard is an ATX XL form factor which means this motherboard is longer than a regular one. These are to be used in the bottom three holes of the motherboard to reduce the potential or possibility of flexing, cracking or bending the motherboard. You will also receive four 3 gigabit SATA cables, installation and utility disk, registration card, input output panel, an assortment of case decals, IDE cable, an assortment of user manuals and instructional guides as well as a SATA expansion bracket and accessory cables. The Gigabyte UD9 comes armed with an LGA1366 socket, so it's compatible with the following CPUs. The motherboard also has two 8-pin 12-volt power hookups to ensure you get as much power as possible to the CPU for the maximum overclock. Memory on this motherboard can be configured in dual channel or three channel the motherboard can accept up to 24 gigabyte of memory which can run in excess speeds of 2200 megahertz. One of the first things you notice and immediately grabs your attention with this motherboard is the seven PCIe slots. Now this motherboard does have two NF200 chipsets on board so what you will end up with is four X16 lens and three X8 lens. Now this motherboard is perfect for running SLI, three-way SLI, 4-way SLI and even up to 4-way Crossfire X. If you're an overclocker and very rarely put your motherboard inside a PC case, you usually run it on an overclocking test bench, this motherboard comes armed with a CMOS reset button and a power on off button mounted hard onto the motherboard itself. Great addition, especially if you're running this on a test bench. On the rear input output panel we have the following connectors a PS2 mouse and PS2 keyboard connector, SPDIF optical and SPDIF coaxial output, CMOS clear button, two firewire connectors, two USB 2.0 connectors and two USB eSATA combo connectors, two 1 gigabit ethernet connections, two USB 2.0 ports as well as two USB 3.0 ports as well as our audio input and output hookup jacks. To provide maximum stability and boost the voltage across the PCIe X16 lens, Gigabyte have installed two 12 volt Molex power hookups. These hookups are extremely important, especially if you're going to be running SLI, 3-way SLI, 4-way SLI or even 4-way Crossfire X. In order to keep the temperatures under control on this motherboard and to cool the south bridge, north bridge and voltage regulators, Gigabyte have come up with a hybrid cooling solution. Now this hybrid cooling solution comes in two parts. You have your water cooled block which you don't essentially have to hook up but it is claimed to boost the cooling potential of this configuration by 30% just by hooking up the water but it is crucial that you install the hybrid silent pipe solution.
One thing we did notice, however, when you install the hybrid silent pipe onto your motherboard, it does create a conflict with the 12 volt Molex power hookup. This should be okay though, because there is a second hookup that you can utilize on the motherboard. The form factor of this motherboard is ATX XL, and as such, you will need a case with at least nine expansion slots to take full advantage of the features of this motherboard. So here's a list of all compatible cases with the ATX XL form factor. So let's have a look at some of the graphics card configurations as well as some of the other features of this motherboard. Thanks again for watching Troubadour's videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube if you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in extreme PC and gaming hardware. Or follow us on Facebook using the following web link.